Hello, when this activity is to show you how to use Keynote as a nonlinear application, um, instead of proceeding through a presentation in a slide by slide fashion, we're going to proceed by having um, clickable items on an opening screen that allow you to transition different objects on the screen. So in this case, we are going to use um, various different um, cameras my favorite Nikon and favorite uh, Canon images. I'm just going to select all of them and bring them in at the same time. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up different clickable items on screen. Now these are all PNGs because I want a transparent background. And so they would easily line up. Now what I'm going to do is it's about the same size. Now the Nikon has a bit larger lens, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller on screen. Okay, so the opening screen is actually going to have these shrunk down in size, so I'm going to make these quite small. And put these here, there's one there. And there. The same size. And put it there. Okay, and I think I'll move these two over. Just give it a bit more space. Oops. And so let's place it about there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each of these clickable um, so that when you click on one, it's going to enlarge one of the cameras, okay, and then show some information. So the way we do that is the first thing we have to do is we're going to have to duplicate this. Okay. And what's going to happen is when we go from here to here, this is going to be the Canon one, okay? On this slide, the Canon camera is going to enlarge, larger. The Nikon camera is going to move over. Okay. And the way we do this is by making sure this has a transition that is a magic move. Okay. And so it'll do that. So if we click on it. Now, what we have to do is add a action to this by saying add link and say move to a particular slide. So in this case, we're going to slide two. Go to slide, okay. So if I run this now, oop, and you won't see it here. <laughs> Let's see here, I'll just close this. I'll have to show you after. Um, I have two screens, so it showed up on another monitor. <laughs> but I will show you in a moment. Okay, so we've got this one done. Now we have to do the Nikon one. Um, Actually, maybe we'll put the text in first. So we're going to duplicate this one again. Duplicate this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text on it. And we're going to say the Canon 5D SR is the, has the showing it as format this and make it left aligned. There we go. Yep, I think that's okay. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do with this slide is the transition from this slide to this slide okay, is going to be an effect going to a dissolve Okay, and it'll be automatically 
go on and it'll be immediate. So that way, when this one appears, this one will automatically go. Okay. Now, we're going to make the next slide, so we're going to have to make a duplicate of this again. This one is going to be the Nikon one. So the Nikon one, we're going to enlarge the Nikon camera. So up here like this. And we're going to move the Canon camera over here. Fine. Okay. And we'll move this one down to the bottom so that we have this correct. And again, we are going to have to add this function in here. So it becomes a little tedious because we're going to have to add this link to every single slide. So this is slide four. Slide four. Go to slides. We're at the right slide. Now, the problem is on this slide, we also have to add that and we need this link too. <laughs> so um, on this slide where we have the Canon, when we click the cannon again, we'd actually like the camera to go small again. So we're going to add the link and we're going to go back to the first slide. I guess it's going to go back to here. And then on this one for the Nikon one, we're going to go to the fourth slide. Add link. We're going to go to the fourth slide. Go to slide. And then on this one, where we've got this final one, it's the same thing. We want, if we click the cannon, we want to go back to the first slide. And again, if we click on the Nikon, we would like to go to the fourth slide. Go to the fourth slide. Okay, and then again, we're going to duplicate this one. Okay, duplicate. And on this one, we'll just pull up some more text again. Ten is the most popular full frame Nikon. Which I don't know if that's true or not, but we hope it is. It's an excellent camera. And until the Canon 5 DSR, it was the highest resolution as well. Oops. Oh. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And again, format it text. Left justify. There we go. And again, the transition on this one. Animate. Oh, we can probably do the magic move. This one and this one transition. We should always leave the magic move on just so that it works. Okay. Anyway, let's see where we're at here. The only thing that's missing now is we have to do this. This will go back to the first slide. And I am going to disconnect my external monitor for a second. So that way when I run this, you'll be able to see it. Okay, now let's run this from the beginning. And I'll click play. And so now if I click the cannon, it goes like this. And that appears. Then if I click again, it goes back. If I click the Nikon, it goes there. Oh, and it doesn't automatically appear. So that's because I didn't do this transition to be automatic. It's on click right now, so I want it to be automatic. So let's try that again. So if I go, so if I go back to Nikon here, if I go to here, oops, let's just go to here. If I go here, it goes back to the beginning. If I click again, Nikon goes up, and then that should appear automatically. Escape. Now the only other thing I want to add is I actually want to link all of these as well. So if I right click on this and add a link, 
I would like that to go to number two for the cannabinoid. Number two. Go to slide. Okay. And so, and then on number two slide, if I click this, the larger one, I want to go back to number one. So it does get a little tedious here. And then if I go to this one, oh, it wasn't on this one, it's on this one. Oh, that link. I guess I should, should add it to all of them. And add it back to there. And then on this one, okay, well, let's do this first. You want to make it clickable for all of them. So for this one, we're going to go back to the first one as well. And on this one, back to the first. And then on this one, oh, I did the wrong one. <laughs> okay, so this should have gone to the fourth one. Let's edit the link. And it should have gone to the fourth one. Ah. And then, so this one, Let's see. So when I go into here, it should be this one that goes to the second one. Add a link. Go to the second slide. Okay, and then on the second slide, that one's correct. That's correct. And then we did all these correctly. Okay, let's see how it works. So now instead, I am going to click on this. It should go back to here. Now if I click here, should go to here. When the object appears, text appears, I can click on this one, should go back the same. And we are finished. So hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and you can try it on your own now.